Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, I'm here with a tutorial on how to uh, modulate uh, your sounds or your synths. You know, I get a lot of people asking me, how do I make my, my synth leads vibrate? Well, that's called modulation. And uh, what you do is you go onto the left side in FL Studio 10 or 9 or any FL at that. Go to Current Projects, go to Generators, and then you look for the VST that you want. But I have mine named, so it's called First Impression. This is actually called uh, Purity, so the sound's called First Impression. Uh, you go here, you click on it, and then you scroll down. You keep scrolling all the way down until you see this faded area here, where the MIDI CCs are. You see MIDI CC number one, it says Modulation Wheel right here. So what you do is you right-click it, and you go to Link to Controller, and then you move. If you have a MIDI uh, uh, keyboard like I do, uh, you can either use the pitch bend wheel or the modulation wheel uh, and you just move it up and it, it does it for you see it's already set it's assigned to it they, right there so with that being done now my sounds will sound like this whenever I move it up see now I got that little vibration um, impurity you usually have to set it how fast you want it to vibrate um, so I turned the rate up just a little bit no, and uh, I turned the LFO amount up just a tad so it can get more of that 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 vibrating sound. I don't I don't know. Just it's just more of it. <laughs> um, I have a little uh little little uh little lead here um, that I I made a beat for. Um, you know, it sounds pretty plain. Just a little bit, just a tad. I'm gonna add a little modulation to it here. I'm, I'm gonna let you guys hear it. It's, it sounds cool, but I, I think I'm gonna add a a little uh, modulation to spice it up a little bit, and uh, you know, I'll give it a little touch. So it, instead of it being you know something like that, I can just do you know with a little modulation at the end, you know, spice things up just just a tad. Um, people like uh, you know, Giant Giuliano does this a lot with the, a lot of his uh, you know synth sounds and, and leads and such. Um, you know, uh, Purity is not the only VST you can do this in. Uh, let me pull up another VST, uh, something everybody uses. I don't know, uh, let me see it here. Nexus. All right, it's perfect right here, Nexus. All right, uh, Nexus, uh, can also, you know, support modulation. Uh, let's use one of these, uh, basic, you know, just a basic, uh, bass triangle, you know, um, so same as always, go to generators. Uh, right here you look for the the sound let's, uh, let's see basic sign hmm it's actually not in here hold on now Why aren't you in here let's see generators uh, oh there it is IFX next is right here you scroll down go all the way to modulation wheel uh, link to controller there you go. You can hear it a little bit, it's, it's, it, but it's not as fast. So what you do is you go to the right side where it says mix. Oh, I'm sorry, not mix. You would go to mod, and then right here it says vibration source and speed. So you go to vibration source, click on mod wheel, and then. I would turn it up to like 85, maybe 90-ish to 100. You know, and that's how you do it with Nexus. You gotta go to the left side after you link it to your mod wheel. You go to the to mod on the uh, Nexus on the left side. You click here, click mod wheel, and you just start messing around with it. All right. Um, that's it for this. Uh, I hope this this uh, helps you guys, you know, and answer some questions. You know, let me know how this tutorial was. I would do more if needed. You know, uh, send me messages or comments. Comment below to let me know what what kind of tutorials do you guys want or need uh, to want to learn about in uh, FL Studio.
So yeah, all right, man. Peace.